Hi, I'm Kevin Hall, CEO of Global Integration. We are an ideas, consulting and training company that specializes in people management in complex, matrixed, virtual and global organizations. I'd like to share with you some of our ideas on working in these very complex organizations. In this video, I want to talk about matrix management. In particular, how a lot of organizations take the matrix too far down into their organizations and how, by thinking more systematically, we can cut the challenge down to size. One of the things we've noticed about matrix management is that when organizations introduce a new matrix structure, they tend to overestimate the number of people who should be impacted by the new matrix. If we take as an example an organization of 10,000 people, and you can scale this to whatever size your company is, we can represent this with these poker chips. And each of these 100 poker chips represents 100 people. Now clearly not everyone needs to be affected by a matrix structure. And in our work, we look at three different groups within the company, each with very different needs. The first is what we call the global group. Now, this is the small number of people right at the top of the organization that sit above the matrix. They manage major functions or head up business units. They report to the CEO and they don't have dual reporting. Now, the life of the global group doesn't change that much in a matrix. If you are the chief executive and everyone still works for you, then not much has changed. These senior people also have tremendous position power and usually have strong relationships and networks. They can still get things done pretty easily. Because of that, these people need to understand their role in sponsoring the matrix and creating an environment where the matrix can succeed, even though they don't themselves work in the matrix structure. Now, our clients tend to be large global organizations, but even in the largest, this group is rarely more than a couple of hundred people. In our sample company of 10,000 people, that's probably no more than 100, or one chip. If we then switch to the bottom of the organisation, we find the vast majority of people who even in the most global companies don't work internationally or need to work as part of the matrix. These are the people working in our factories, our offices and stores. They should have single line reporting. The matrix would just add a necessary complexity at this level. Now, we call this group the locally loyal. And in most organizations, that's 80 to 85% of the workforce. Now this is great news, because these people just don't need matrix working skills. We should as much as possible protect them from the complexity of the matrix. So if you find that your matrix has gone right down to first line manager level, then it's likely that you've gone too far. It's also good news, because the group that's left over is a much more manageable size. Now we call this group the matrix middle. These are the people who are most affected by a matrix. They need to transform the strategic intent of the global group into the practical steps and actions that are necessary for the locally loyal. They're exposed to the complexity of competing objectives of multiple bosses and the need to manage trade-offs. These are the people we should focus on and this is where we need to invest our time and effort in building matrix management skills. We call this group in the middle, the matrix middle. These are the people who are most affected by a matrix. They need to transform the strategic intent of the global group into the practical steps and actions that are necessary for the locally loyal. They are exposed to the complexity of competing objectives, of multiple bosses, and the need to manage trade-offs. These are the people we should focus on, and this is where we need to invest our time and effort in building the management skills necessary to make the matrix structure really work. So my advice is to look at your matrix structure and to make sure you haven't gone too far down into the organization, beyond where this additional complexity really adds value. Second, focus on your global group and make sure that they have the skills necessary to lead in this environment. In our experience, this group often underestimates the impact of the change to a matrix structure because it's not such a big change for them. Third, focus most of your effort on the matrix middle. These are the people who need to build significant new skills in matrix management. To find out more about our matrix management training and consulting, together with more free videos, articles and podcasts, please visit global-integration.com. Thank you for watching and good luck.